Well, Israel's defense minister has declared the start of a new phase of the war after at least 37 people were killed by exploding electronic devices in Lebanon. CTV's Scott Hurst joins us live with the latest. Uh, let's talk about the latest developments. Mm -hmm. What's happening? Good morning, Jamie. In the wake of these deadly communication device attacks, there is really a, a new specter in this war. Hezbollah has fired a new barrage into northern Israel today. Meanwhile, the Israeli military says it is striking Hezbollah targets in Lebanon. So this is raising the specter of all-out combat between Israel and the Hezbollah terrorist organization. We're also hearing from Lebanon's Hezbollah chief, Hassan Nasrallah, calling the attacks massacres. Israel, while moving troops to its northern border with Lebanon, has not directly commented on the attack using pagers and walkie-talkies. In the meantime, this is catching the attention of the international community, as you might expect, and there's significant concern amongst the international community. Jamie, the UN Security Council will come together on Friday as there is serious risk of escalation in the wake of these attacks. The UN Secretary General has come out and said at this point everything must be done to avoid that escalation. The latest numbers we're hearing in terms of death and injuries from these walkie-talkie and pager attacks. The Lebanon Health Ministry is saying at least 25 people were killed and hundreds injured on Wednesday as walkie-talkies appear to be the source of explosions. This comes a day after pagers used by Hezbollah killed at least 12 and wounded thousands, Jamie. Scott Hurst, we appreciate that report. Thank you.